What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Top 10 Aviation. It is always impressive to come to the airport and see the same aircraft livery all around the terminal. Having a big aircraft fleet is a sign of superiority and dominance, which tends to impress all the passengers. Today, we're going to be talking about the 10 largest airlines in the world by their fleet size. Number 1 is the most impressive of the whole list with almost 900 airplanes. I'm sure you don't want to miss it, so stay tuned until the end. But before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more aviation videos. All that said and done, let's begin. Number 10. Air China Air China is currently operating an impressive fleet of 444 aircraft. The fleet is made of Boeing and Airbus airplanes and it serves more than 200 destinations worldwide. Air China's longest flight takes about 14 hours and 40 minutes and this never-ending flight connects China's capital Beijing and the South African city Johannesburg. The company uses a Boeing 777 for this flight which kind of makes sense knowing the impressive range of the 777, which is about 14,000 kilometers. Did you know that the Chinese president uses Air China's aircraft to travel around the world? Unlike many other heads of states, the Chinese president doesn't own a personal airplane. He usually uses Air China's Boeing 747 for any of its international diplomatic travels. Number 9. FedEx FedEx Express is a cargo airline based in Memphis, Tennessee. It is the world's ninth largest carrier in terms of fleet size with over 450 aircraft. FedEx is also the world's largest operator of Airbus A300, ADR42, Cessna 208, MD10 and MD11 aircraft. And all this makes FedEx the largest cargo company on the planet. Besides its Memphis super hub, the airline also has 12 other international hubs from which it spreads its wings on a daily basis. These hubs are strategically located in Asia, Europe, Canada and the Middle East so that FedEx can easily reach every single one of its customers. Number 8. Ryanair Europe's largest low-cost carrier occupies the 8th position among the largest airplane fleets in the world with 470 aircraft. The company is operating only the Boeing 737 and they all look exactly the same. Ryanair is often controversial in Europe, like the time they've claimed they would get rid of the co-pilot to cut down on wages. But it's believed that it's only part of the company's marketing strategies to keep the media talking about them, which works pretty well, I must admit. Its business plan allows the company to aggressively expand its network Ryanair's biggest markets are Spain, the United Kingdom, and Italy in the first position. And, by the way, Ryanair has an idol overseas who greatly inspired its business model. If you don't know who I'm talking about, make sure to stick with me because you'll know the answer very soon. Number 7. SkyWest Airlines it is the largest regional airline in the United States with 434 airplanes. The fleet is composed only of Embraer and Bombardier aircraft that are perfectly suitable for its 852 daily flights. SkyWest Airlines' growth is impressive considering its humble beginnings. In fact, the airline was born in 1972, operating only two four- and six-seat Piper aircraft, flying people for only $25. Now, it is serving 246 cities from 48 American states, 6 Canadian provinces, and 3 Mexican cities. That's what a strong regional airline looks like. Feeling impressed already? Let's keep going because you haven't seen the most exciting things yet. Number 6. Now, let's go back to Asia to meet the 6th largest airline fleet in the world which is China Eastern Airlines with 566 aircraft. The airline was founded in 1988 and is based in Shanghai Pudong and Hongqiao International Airports. It is serving 217 international and domestic destinations, which makes it almost the biggest airline in China. 
With 389 Airbus aircraft, China Eastern Airlines is also the second largest Airbus operator in the world. Out of that number, almost 330 aircraft are of the A320 family. The rest are long-haul models, like the A330 and the A350. Number 5. On the fifth position is China Southern Airlines, with 621 airplanes. Besides its fifth position worldwide, the company ranks number one in Asia. CSA is considered a four-star airline according to Skytrack standards, which makes it the biggest four-star operator in the world. Another thing that makes the airline so special is that it is the only A380 operator in China. As of today, they still have five A380s regularly used on some of their international routes, like Los Angeles and Amsterdam. Did you know that CSA's longest flight takes about 16 hours? The connection between New York JFK and Bayon International Airport in Guangzhou is one of the longest flights in a Boeing 777. Number 4. Southwest Airlines The biggest 737 operator in the world is undoubtedly Southwest Airlines, with 739 aircraft. Can you just imagine how many 737s is that? While we all know Southwest's loyalty to the Boeing 737, it was not the only model the company ever operated. From 1978 until 1985, the airline operated a few 727s and almost all of them were leased from other airlines. Do you remember the previously mentioned overseas idol of Ryanair? Here it is. After a visit to the United States, Ryanair CEO Michael O'Leary was impressed by Southwest Airlines' methods of making money. So he decided to implement the same method in his own company. It turned out to be a very good move, considering Ryanair's position and cash balance nowadays. Now, we get to the top three largest fleets in the world. I am so excited about that. Number three, United Airlines. United has the third largest fleet in the world with 808 aircraft. Its headquarters are located in Chicago, with Chicago O'Hare being its largest hub in the United States in terms of passengers carried and the number of departures. It is also the first American airline to serve all 50 states. The airline was founded in 1931, and since then, it's a pillar of the aviation industry. It was one of the funding members of Star Alliance and the first operator to fly a Boeing 777. Number 2. Delta Airlines that has the second largest fleet in the world with a total of 858 airplanes. After its first flight as an airline between Dallas and Jackson in Mississippi, the airline has continued to exponentially grow until becoming the giant it is today. Surprisingly, the second largest fleet in the world is not the newest, since Delta's fleet policy mainly targeted used older generation aircraft to reduce the acquisition costs. However, the company recently decided to shift this strategy around and started to buy new aircraft. That's how Delta became the first American Airbus A350 operator. Number 1. And the winner of this top 10 is American Airlines. That has the largest fleet in the world, with a total of 871 airplanes. In 2011, the airline placed the biggest order in aviation history, with 460 Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 aircraft. It is also the first largest Airbus operator in front of the previously mentioned China Eastern Airlines competitor. Their longest flight connects Dallas-Fort Worth to Hong Kong in a Boeing 777 and takes about 17 hours to complete this flight. In this list, we're not including each company's regional subsidiaries, but if we had, American Airlines fleet would be over 1,500 aircraft. Have you ever traveled with one of these airlines? If not, which are the ones you would like to travel with? Let me know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more amazing videos about aviation? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.